Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and I stayed up late tonight to watch the first episode of Andor, and that's what we're going to be doing. Episode one, I'll watch the other two later today, but I've been excited for this the, ever since the trailer came out, really. I wasn't really anticipating it much, but then the trailer and seeing how amazing it was, the quality and the the drumming even was very like alluring and uh just curious that the story and the direction that they're gonna take with it so i'm really excited about that and um watched the rogue one freshly before this to get myself hopefully primed and ready to know a little bit more going into this but uh yeah, overall, I'm really excited. This should be really neat, really cool. And I guess on that note, let's just get right to it. Andor, episode one. It definitely has like, that music feels very 80s. Even this feels like, or like cyberpunk, noir type feeling. Oh. Those are awkward bubbles. Oh, that's like giant vending machines. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that alien type before. Hello. Hello. Hello tonight. I think part of your hair is missing. Have you been with us before? She looks familiar. Behave. It's not your girlfriend or something, is it? I don't have a girlfriend. Mm. Nostalgic. Ooh, they jealous. I'm looking for my sister. Mmm. What do I know that actress from? Nobody here gives their real name. What's the movie I'm thinking of? Blade Runner? That's what this is reminding me of. The lighting, the mood. See it, big stuff. Oh. There you go. He doesn't want any trouble. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Risky, the gun behind you. Tell me now. Uh. He's dead just from smack him in the head. <laughs> He's taking me! He's fucked! Oh, Oh, he's worried. He's like, you're gonna tell. We played too hard with him and you didn't understand it. Don't tell him what happened. That was a- that was the look of the first- being the first person he killed, I think. I think those- these were the first people he killed. Cute! Look at that cute baby droid. Look at them. They're like space pigs. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna pee on him, huh? <gasps> really good job on those creatures. Cassian, I brought what you Tita told me. Aww. Cassian. Casa! Casa! Oh, look how cute they all are. So this is new to them. Maybe the first time they've seen a ship. Yeah, those are all kids. I love how they you don't they don't translate it, they just explain through the body language. Can you make a lie for me? I can lie. I have adequate power reserves. Don't tell anybody you saw me. Don't tell anybody you know where I am. That's two lies. Oh. Tell both. I will have to recharge at home. What'd you do when you left? Oh, tired. I went home, uh, cleaned up a bit, and then I fell asleep. No. You can buy for me, but I wasn't there. So then you started home, and you yeah, saw me at the book deal. I had half a bottle of Nog stashed at home. So we went there. Wow, he's covering his bases. You insulted my choice of beverage. As host and provider, I was offended by this. <laughs> you failed to gauge the depth of my humanity. Ooh, pretty. Two dedicated Primor employees caught in the sad orbit of a rare calamity. I don't understand. I want you to conjure a suitable accident. They were murdered. No. 
They were killed in a fight. They're in a brothel, which we're not supposed to have, the expensive one, which they shouldn't be able to afford, a drinking Rivnog, which we're not supposed to allow. Both of them supposedly on the job, it which is being a dismissible offence. <laughs> Something sad but inspiring in a mundane sort of way. He does not like this. But we know, by the way this guy's acting, he, he can't let it go. I don't think he can. He'll write the report, but he's gonna do his own digging. <gasps> I love tall droid man. Who's in the yard? What? Your friend. What friend? The one who buys your secret friend. What have you done? Something bad. Your friend will want this piece. Uh, I got an untraceable NS9 star path unit. Vector crystals and Imperial seal still intact. I need every credit I can put my hands uh -oh. on. We better on the Wabani run tomorrow. There's suspicion. Yeah. Jealousy? What? Mm-hmm. Uh, looks like it's turned into something more than work. I'll let him know. Are they hinting some tension between them too? They're gonna go find out what's what's over there. But I'm so curious, where are the adults? Are these all orphans? Ah. Forward. He's digging in. Forward. Digging where he shouldn't find it. Whatever it is, I wanna know when it left and where it went. You'd have to filter Aussie. the entire night. Well, it's too much for you, let me know. I'm sure somebody wants the chair. Yikes. I'm not hurry. Uh oh. Got some place to be? He owes yeah. him money, well, doesn't he? to see me. Well, no love for Nerchi. <laughs> no, I'm late, okay? Oh, Nerchi. I, I want my deposit back. Yeah, I wish I, I could. could. Okay? Uh oh. Bitch. Seriously. Look I'm at not him. one of these losers gonna let you float until they forget how much you owe. Work. Since when <sighs> you take orders from Nerchi? Don't work this bad. Leave him out of it. Oh. He said all I need to do was stand here. Oh. Good. I don't want to. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight. He's like, what? I'll be back. So I'm supposing she's digging. They're selling things that are like on the black market, I'm supposing. Morse code, okay. Or Star Wars equivalent of Morse code. Look alive. He's always <gasps> me up. Is he even allowed to approve over time? Blue noodles. Terex. Yes, sir. We've been working on it. Cool. Look at all those rigs. Oh, they got their bones. They're like hound pigs. I don't want to know what you're doing or why or why you took this He's thing. He's scared. Of any of it. Finish it. Oh no. Oh. Wow. There we have it. Episode one of Andor. Um, very slow, but good. I appreciate it. Um, from what I've been hearing from people is the three episode drop was almost on purpose in order to like be a cohesive, almost one big episode because of the slow pace of it. I don't mind slow pace if I know I'm anticipating further development, right? There was a, enough curiosity and action to keep me invested in the episode itself. Um, but clearly building up these new characters we're, miss we're meeting outside of obviously Cassian and or Bimo, the his droid we have his like minor friend that he's like oh i'm went drinking with you we have his this the pilot buddy well was the buddy now who knows we have what's her name the gal helping him i don't remember her name um clearly like working in the black market his connections there and then um her gentleman sir <laughs> assisting um and then obviously we have the security the guards on the other hand, which is an interesting take. So these are like security guards working for this corporate company. And then off, obviously, like I am really liking this whole flashbacks to his his childhood, his upbringing. What's interesting is I remember from Rogue One, he was saying, I've been fighting this since I was six, which tells me he's clearly in this village, now that I'm remembering, older than six. 
his sister is closer to that than he is in that. So maybe this l really is a village made up of orphans, kids that have been, their parents have died, perhaps in this rebellion or this war that their parents fought for or were killed just in the crossfire and now they have to get on on their own. So a lot of things I'm hoping will be answered, which I'm sure it will be is about these people and this land um, and the connection to Rogue One and all these other characters. So yeah, I guess I don't have much more to speak on it for that part. Again, slow pace, sets the scene. Still obviously a lot. We gotta figure out about what's going on with Cassian. He's looking for his sister. Now he's on the run because he just killed two men which again i feel like either that was like his first kill or he's still like you know it's it's still new territory doesn't seem like he's actively involved with a rebellion group they're not you know they're kind of more in the foreground or the background the shadows so yeah i have a lot of question marks still question of what is going on he, he has a you know Diego really plays that whole like almost panicky like when somebody's like really fixated on something and life is passing them by and they're like dude you know like sure like he clearly has all these things he has debts he owes he has favors he owes he has he's been sneaking behind closed doors people have been helping it out and they're like we're at like you know our wits wits end is that the term we're, we're basically we're we're tired of doing this like you need to give us what we're owed or like i'm tired of risking my life my way of life for you we're not seeing anything come of it and you're just kind of in your crazy fixated like he's got this wall with all of his newspaper clippings and everything's connected that's the type of brain it looks like he's thinking but um is this all looking for his sister is there something beyond that probably both but yeah, so a good first episode. Again, slow paced. Can't say necessarily anything bad about it because again, I feel like this is a series and they're drawing us into this to tell a full story. And I appreciate them having so many episodes to be able to take the time to, I'm just rambling on, sorry. Partly, probably I'm tired, but basically they're going the pace that I think is appreciative to get to know these characters and really delve into this. I know complaints in the past have sometimes people been like, either you didn't go deep enough or it felt rushed. I feel like we're given that time now. And so keep that in mind when watching and look at the, a show or in this case, maybe the series of episodes in a row as one entity rather than each episode having to speak for itself. I don't really typically approach things when I know it's it has a goal. Um, some shows I do approach that way. Star Wars or these these formatting shows, not as much. So anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling on going blah, 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 blah. But maybe it's maybe it makes sense. Maybe it's interesting. I think I'm just tired. But we're going to watch the rest of the episodes after I have a sleep. And I'm looking forward to it because I think it'll wrap it up nicely. And it'll start building the momentum for what the show is going to lead us into. So I think good things are happening. Cinematography is nice. The setting is good. Uh, the music is very noir, 80s vibe, if that's the one. Again, giving me Blade Runner vibes. So yeah, appreciate you guys being here and watching. Excited. My voice is, is, is quieter, not as excited mode, but I promise. Keep on hanging in there, guys. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this. Comment with your thoughts of what you're expecting or what you liked of this episode. Was there an Easter egg? Was there something cool that I missed? And uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hit that nice big old red button with the white letters. It says subscribe. Make sure the notification bell is on. Is that automatic? But it'll let you know when the videos go live. And that's a pretty cool thing. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.